Hello everyone. This is to our Block 1 students, Ms. B and I thought it would be a nice idea to guide you through the steps to study for your test next Monday on October the 26th. Pretty much, we want you to at least go through six tasks. This black folder has been on your Schoology page for now three classes. It is very important that you use the information in this folder to help you study and prepare for this big test. Remember this test has two parts. The first part is about mechanical energy. The second part is about lab design. There are three things you should do to study, practice, and prepare for the energy portion of the test. And there are three things you should do to study, practice, and prepare for the lab design portion of the test. We want you to focus on the do next class folder. The three things we'd like you to do for preparing for any energy questions on the test. First, watch and take notes from this video lesson. This should be done by now. If it is not, you are 20 minutes behind schedule. This video is 20 minutes long. We recommended last week that you sit down for 10 minutes each, two 10 minute sit down sessions to review and watch the videos and take notes. The next thing that we would like you to do is review the answers to the practice test. The answers to the practice test are extremely important that you understand the answers. You're not memorizing the answers because on the test, we may not do a matching section on the test. We may ask you the definition for a vocabulary word as a multiple choice question. So you need to make sure that you maybe make some note cards and you put the name or the word on one side of the note card and on the back side, you hand write the definition. I understand that everything is remote right now, but it is important for you to write things down by hand because it helps your brain remember important information. So make sure that you go through all of the answers on this practice test and remember that Miss B and I added the vocabulary words with their full definitions for the test. Um, and remember that you will not need to know the formulas for kinetic energy and GPE. This is also a nice visual we told you about in class. This visual will help you uh, put a picture to the six different types of energy. Sometimes thinking of a picture helps you remember important facts. So if we go back, remember the first thing you should do is watch the video and take notes. The second thing you should do is go over the answer key to every problem on the practice test and make sure you understand the answers. The last thing we'd like you to do is go to the yellow folder inside the do next class. It's called the study guide. When you open up the study guide, you're going to see that the study guide is broken into two parts. So the third thing we'd like you to do to prepare for any energy questions on the test is to read through part one of the study guide. You will notice none of the information is new. It is just re-bulleted and re-highlighted for you. So again, any information that you're like, oh, I did not know that as a fact, maybe make a note card of that fact so that you can study from your note cards to help you remember those important facts. So again, the three things that you should do to prepare for any questions on the test that deal with energy is to go to the black folder, do next class, go over the facts from the video lesson, the practice test, and then the study guide. Then we'd like you to complete three tasks to study, prepare, uh, and practice for the second part of the test, which is lab design. So the, where we'd like you to start first is with the notes. Start with the notes 
These notes should look very familiar. They have been with you since the second week of school. So you need to first remember the six steps to a lab in order. The names of the steps of the lab are in red. Again, it may be a good idea to make a note card, label the note cards one, two, three, four, five, and six, or even A, B, C, D, E, and F. And, and on the opposite, opposite side of the card, you can name the step of the lab that you are referring to. Um, you can also, when you read over the notes, it will remind you of what to do in each step. What is the main task that happens during a lab during each step of the lab? So remember for problem or purpose, we write it as how does blank affect blank? How does the independent variable affect the dependent variable? Remind yourself that early research happens in step two. To write a hypothesis or prediction, we usually follow the if then because sentence stem. When you look at the experiment and how it is designed and set up, what equipment is used, how many trials did the scientists conduct, who were the test or what were the test samples, who or what uh, were the test samples during the lab, uh, what was the independent variable? What was the dependent variable? What was the control variable? What were the constant variables? This is why we had you draw diagrams for labs, because when you draw diagrams for the lab, it's forcing you to remember and think about the important variables in an experiment. Data is when you design data tables and graphs, and then the conclusion is when you answer your original problem or purpose. So the first thing that we'd like you to do when you start studying for the lab design portion of the test, any kind of questions that deal with how, to, how a scientist conducts a lab, how to set up a lab experiment in science class, you will first read the notes. Then what we'd like you to do is reread this article that you read the second day of school. It's a wonderful review of the six steps of a lab, as well as what happens during those six steps. Anything that you do not remember that you're like, oh, I completely forgot about that. Again, we would suggest you make a note card for those facts that you tend to not remember so that you can review those note cards before the test. So remember we said we want you to do three things to prepare for ener the energy part of the test and three things to prepare for the science lab design portion of the test. First, we said to look at the notes then to read the article. The third would be to open back up this study guide and go to part two of the study guide. And it is going to take you through some practice scenarios. First, it's gonna remind you of the six steps of a scientific lab. And then it will give you some ideas of what we would ask you to do on the test. And then there are three sample lab scenarios that you can read through and then go back up and answer the three, or excuse me, the four bullets above, okay? So that would be actual practice scenarios. This is optional, but we do recommend that you do it. So what we just did, what I just did is I went over the six specific tasks that you should do to study and prepare for the entire test, both big, both parts of the test. Um, one, two, and then the study guide is three for the energy part of the test. And then to prepare for the lab design portion of the test, you should read over the notes first, then the reading, then go back to the study guide to prepare. You are also encouraged to kind of look over at least one time, just read the different steps of the labs that we conducted in class to help you remember how to identify the different steps or variables to a lab. We will not ask you what was the dependent variable of Jack's lab. We're not gonna ask you to memorize those useless facts. What we will do is ask you to do the same things that we asked you to do for Lataya's lab and Jack's lab and Lisa's lab, the BTB lab, and yes, even our crash lab. In all of those labs, we asked you, what was the problem or purpose of the lab? So we want you to be able to feel comfortable 
determining the problem or purpose of any lab that is brand new and presented to you on the test. So maybe by rereading these labs, it may give you some reinforcement with your studying that is happening up here to get ready for the test, okay? So I hope that you found this little video helpful uh, to, go, to show you what and how you should study for the test.